I'm going to go through this example problem where we determine the fugacity of a pure gas using equations of state. So this problem is to determine the fugacity of pure methane at 220 Kelvin and 69 bar. At a pressure of 69 bar, which is much, much higher than atmospheric pressure, we can be certain that the methane is going to behave non-ideally, and we can use an equation of state to model that non-ideal behavior. In this case, I'm going to assume that the van der Waals equation of state is a good model of the non-ideality. Now that we've chosen an equation of state, we can derive an expression for the fugacity of the pure species based on the equation of state. If we were to choose a different equation other than the van der Waals, you could do the same thing. And since we chose the van der Waals equation of state, this derivation is already done for us in the textbook. So if you see example 7.2 in the text, it'll show you the derivation of the fugacity for a pure species based on the van der Waals equation of state. So our starting point is going to be what they obtained in example 7.2. From here, we can raise each side to the power of E. Now you can cancel out the pressure on both sides and get the expression for the fugacity. From here, all we need to do is solve for the unknown constants, which are A, B, and the molar volume. A and B are constants of the van der Waals equation of state given by the following expressions. We can look up the values of the critical temperature and critical pressure in the back of the book for methane, and we'll find that the critical temperature is 190.6 Kelvin, and the critical pressure is 46 bar, which is also equal to 46 times 10 to the fifth pascals. When we plug these values in, we can solve for A and B. The only thing we still need to solve for is the molar volume. We can find this using our equation of state at the given conditions. If we plug this into an equation solver like Wolfram Alpha, we'll get that the molar volume is equal to 1.487 times 10 to the negative fourth. Now we have everything we need to solve for the fugacity, so if we plug everything that we have into the equation that we solved that I marked star up here, we will get that the fugacity of methane is 47.9 bar. I hope that you learned something from this video and that it helped you understand how to solve the problem. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and we'll be posting weekly videos for homework help in Chemi 211 at Purdue University.